tell me Daryl's alive. We got him at headquarters. He thinks he's got a gun charge hanging over his head, but it was borderline entrapment. I'll let him go when the time is right. <laughs> Damn. That's a, that's a whole new kind of tough love. You asked me to keep him alive. You know Trick Carter? Yeah, yeah, he's an independent parole a few weeks ago. Why? He got paid to hit the young G's this morning. Well, the DA just got killed in the same kind of drive-by. Ah, and all of a sudden, the city starts to care, right like that. Leroy, we need to know who else might have hired him before the body count goes up. But you can't find him? We can't protect the targets if we don't know who they are, man. But Trick made connections in here. You want me to be your inside source? I mean something in here and out there. I got respect, influence. There's been a truce on the streets because I called for it. This ain't your set. It's nobody's set. You know I can't snitch, Hondo. You know, everything I've done since what happened back then was me trying to be as worthy as you thought I was. You helped make me who I am. But I made you who you are, too, and I've been sorry about that ever since. <sighs> Man, come on, get over yourself. I'd be right here even if we never met. We all got our own past. This was mine. You just happened to jaywalk across it back then. You hear what I'm saying? This is not your fault. But Daryl, oh, he ain't like me, man. He won't survive this life. He's just trying to earn your respect the wrong way. Daryl's more like you, man. He's a thinker, but he got other options in life. I didn't. Or maybe I just didn't want him. Those were hammers that died this morning. You're set, Leroy. That gives you every right to find out why and who. But the only way to save the truth, to save Daryl, is to get us to the real shooters. You just got to decide how far you're willing to go for your son. 